Hello, Lamb the Lambs. Welcome back to another episode of What the F with Sunny LaRue. Me, also known as the professional martini drinking blogger. Back again with another episode. And we're going to talk about this Britney and Justin fiasco because it just keep going. Like the Energized Bunny. It just keep going and going and going and going. It's like, oh my God. Anyway, but before we get into it, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on when I post new episodes. It's the freest and easiest way to support the channel. And follow me on social media. I'm on all social media links, platforms. Platforms at Sunny LaRue 17 or simply Google Sunny LaRue 17. All of my links, social media links, websites, YouTube channel, and uh, podcasts will populate for you guys to follow in that order. Now, let's get into this because this is a lot to unpack and we don't have that All right. much time. Got my notes, y'all. Let's talk about this. So, Justin came out with a new song called selfish right and it was burning up the itunes charts okay but britney spears fans out there are saying "Eh -eh. it ain't happened for you justin no justice for justin they're like not only we gonna cock block you we're gonna push britney spears selfish song to the top of the charts and knock your ass out knock you back down on the ground that you got up from and that's exactly what those Britney Spears fans did. Okay. So they trolled Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Poor Justin. I mean, talk about crappy uh, uh, luck. He has the crappiest luck. So as you know, he was a talk of Britney Spears controversial uh, 2023 memoir, The Woman and Me. Um, where she talks about how um, he was not too kind to her, right? And then he comes out and apologizes to her, and not only to her, but to Janet Jackson, because basically Janet took the blame for that peekaboo booby thing at the um, Super Bowl, and he did not take any heat. You know, he did not take any heat. So... He apologized in this lengthy apology. And also, she kind of, Brittany, um, uh, alluded to the fact that she was impregnated by him and they um, terminated the pregnancy. Okay? That's allegedly. I should say that. Allegedly. So, now that the apology is out, now that her book is out, her memoir is out, her all this documentary, everything is out, Right? She goes and say, I apologize to anyone who my story offended or caused any hurt. That was not my intention, right? So then we're like, okay, Brittany, all right. Now you can go back on Instagram and flip around, do your twirl, twirl, twirl. Now twirl, twirl, okay? In whatever basement you're in, and Justin can go and slither around being a little snake worm and do this thing. We all cool. But y'all fans out there, y'all some shady ass people. And I'm looking at this story saying, what the F is going on with this scenario? Okay? So... Britney's song, Selfish, was released. Child, I can't even read my own. <laughs> I can't even read my own handwriting. It was released in 2011 and it's from her Femme Fatale album. Okay. So all of the Britney fans rallied around their girl, Brit Brit, and pushed this song to number one, knocking Justin out all the way down to number three. He's probably down to number five or six by this time. Okay. Because they think, because of how he treated Britney, he shouldn't be number one. But I don't think it's that. I think it's what he said when he was performing. And he said, and I quote, <sighs> Where is it? I'm not apologizing. Oh, he says this. He liked to take the opportunity to not apologize to anyone but my thing is Justin you already apologized 
So you're keeping this going. Just get up there and do your song. Be with your wife, Jessica Bill, and your family. And shut the F up. Okay? Nobody cares. You're not that important to keep this going. Okay? You need... Basically, what you're saying is your fans are not fans enough to keep you in the atmosphere. You know? That you have to use Britney to keep your name relevant. All right? So just stop it. You said enough. Go do your single, go drop your album, go do your tour, go do whatever it is you're doing. Leave Britney out of it. And poor Janet Jackson is like, how the hell did I get in? Now, who said that? How did I get in this? I mean, I'm getting ready to go on tour again. I'm getting ready to make these coins. I ain't got time for you and Brit Brit. Just go, Justin, make your coins. Brittany, twirl, twirl, twirl on Instagram. Make your coins. And Janet Jackson, I'll see you in a couple of months because you're going to make your coins off of people like me because I'm going to go see her again. And I'm super excited. Don't be jealous. (laughs) Don't be jealous. And I'll tell you all about it. Okay? Because Janet knows how to rock it. All right, guys. So (laughs) This really isn't... A st- I mean, it's a non-story in my opinion. I Who cares? Do you care? I don't. Obviously, you guys do because it's trending and we're talking about it. But child, please, Justin, go sit down. Go sit down. Go give old girl another baby and y'all go live your life. All right. So what do you think of this story? Are you like me thinking it's a non-mother f- f- factor? Or do you actually have something to say about this irrelevant beef between Brittany and Justin? Let me know down in the comment section below. We'll continue our conversation there. And with that, as always, I have other stories to bring to you. So I better get back at it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on another one. Bye.